everyone and welcome back to my channel so this vlog is documenting how our lives will be because of the metro manila enhanced community quarantine in short it's a lockdown and we really can't go out the government implemented a strict measure that people can't go out unless you're gonna buy food medicine and other basic stuff and there are no major transportations like train, buses, even taxis. So people can only walk or maybe ride their bike. And because of that, most people now are working from home, including me and my mom. So we were able to build a small home office station here at home. And yeah, it's like this. So just a laptop and I ordered this keyboard and mouse two days before the lockdown and um, fortunately it arrived yesterday so I can use it and this is an old laptop of my mom that I've been using to edit videos so it's quite slow our internet is fast but my laptop is slow because it has lots of videos in it and I can't delete them yet. It is now 9.41 a.m. My normal work shift starts at 1 p.m. But our boss gives me additional students in the morning. It's like everything has changed. Like the pay system, the working hours, they all changed. And it's like employees have no choice but just to accept whatever um, job they've been given because without that we will not earn anything and now even if we're working at home um the payment system has changed and it's not really good for the employees and you know because we need to pay for the internet we need to pay for the electricity being used for working at home we we will be facing lots of bills by the end of this quarantine so so this is Korean time. My first class starts at 10 a.m. And the last one okay, the last one ends at 10.50 p.m. This is Korean time. Alright, and now I'm having breakfast, coffee, some toast, and egg. My mom's working station is a lot better. Their company let them bring home their workstations their desktops to be honest we didn't really have internet connection before this work from home set up because we're normally not at home the whole day so even if we have internet at home we can only use it on the weekend we, we don't also have tv and those stuff so because of this work from home setup we had to do a lot of stuff like um, find internet connection company and install it within two days and set up these computers but yeah we have to do what we can do to keep on earning money in spite of the situation so I will be updating you every day I think this will last for a month so let's see do you have today just one this one oh okay you're lucky because i'm your teacher <laughs> okay um 
what was my question okay so in is it your first time to have online okay okay so you're in, in online classes you have to answer in complete sentences so instead of saying just yeah it should be yes it's my first time or instead of saying one you should answer i only have one class today okay um <laughs> Hindoro? Is it Hindoro? Oriota? Good job! Teacher will help you. Ah, Hanguko ara. Kunde, kunyang jugo. And uh, this is English class, so we have to speak English. Yongo chare? Breakfast today is coffee. I'll put milk in it and a butter toast bread. I was planning to fry some egg, but I've been eating egg every day. I'm kind of tired of it. Hi guys, it's day four of being in community quarantine and day three of being in an enhanced community quarantine. So the difference, the first one, we were still allowed to go out, but the second one, we're really not allowed to go out. It's really an emergency, and it's now 9.49 a.m. I'm about to start my shift as an ESL teacher. I have a class that starts at 10 o'clock, and my last class ends at 10 o'clock p.m. too. Only, I only had like four hours of sleep. I had too much coffee yesterday, I think and it's just my fourth day of working from home but i'm already feeling a little bit burnt out even if i'm in my house so yeah still documenting i cannot really document the whole day because i'm so busy teaching um my routine is i wake up at nine o'clock have breakfast and then have a class until 12 o'clock and then take a rest, a little rest, then eat lunch, take a shower at 2 o'clock, and then another class will start at 3 o'clock, ends at 5 o'clock, eat dinner or take a rest, and then from 7 o'clock to 10 p.m. I have street classes. So, yeah, just documenting what I can in the house.
finally it's Friday and I just finished my first class. I have 10 minutes break before I start my next class and I am sending my work from home schedule to our HR because it's our cutoff tomorrow and we will be receiving our pay next week. So it's kind of difficult that you'll be having classes and doing your own Excel of how much you worked and how much you'll get paid like doing everything by yourself so I'm just sending email now yep and so finally it's the last working day of the week and so really tiring even if I'm just at home because Aside from doing your job, your usual workload, you also have to do household chores, cook for yourself, clean for yourself, wash the dishes, stuff like that. But anyway, I think I'll be doing a sit down vlog of pros and cons of working at home. But yeah, I'll update you. Why do you think so? Why do you think that's the answer? Yes. Oh, so that's how the laws have changed. Yep. Okay, let's go to the next one. 